If you want to build the logic in Trigger, which can help you in your upcoming interviews and also in your day-to-day -day life as a Salesforce developer, you are on the correct video. So let's understand the real-time scenario that we are going to solve in this video. So right now we have an object one and object three and object two will be acting as a junction object between object one and object three. So basically there will be an object one and object three and object two is acting as a junction object. On the other hand, we have one more object named as object four. Now this object four has the lookup of object three. So this means if uh, arrow is on that side, uh, the opposite side will have the lookup. Basically, this will have this object four is going to have the lookup of object three, object two is going to have the lookup of object three and object one because the arrow is on that side. So this is what the overall scenario is. And what we want to do is that whenever the phone number on object one is updated, automatically update the same phone number inside the object four. Now, if you see there is a large amount of relationship between multiple objects so this will surely build your logic and help you in your interview and will build a confidence as well inside the triggers as well so simply when object one is updated i want to object the object four now here you can see one more thing at the uh, at the top as well one to three can be considered as the id the 18 digit id usually there is an 18 digit id but i'm just using three digits for example so one to three is the <coughs> id of the object one in the whole object one phone number with the phone number is 1122 on the other hand object 3 having the ideas 567 <coughs> object 3 is going to have the ideas 567 and object 3 has phone number as 3344 and object 2 is going to have a lookup to object 1 and object 3 as well right so what i have done is i have created a lookup lookup is basically an id right so 123 that is a lookup to object 1 and 567 object 2 lookup to the object 3 so now let's start writing the code. <clears throat> so basic goal is that object one is updated, update the object four as well with the same phone number. So the triggering point over here is object one, right? So let's get, let's get started. So trigger my trigger on object one, right? Now, as I am working on the related object, right? I'm not working on the same object, but I want to update the object four, which is a completely different object. That's where we use after events. And we want that when phone number of this is updated, update the same phone number in object four. That's the reason it will be update. So it will be in after update context. Let me change the language. <clears throat> it's already Java, okay. Fine. Now, once the object uh, one is updated, I want to update the object four. So let's start writing object one obj one colon trigger dot new. First of all, we need to make sure that the phone number of object one is actually updated. So for that purpose, you already have. If you have se seen my older videos, what I used to do is object one old obj one equals to trigger dot old map dot get obj1 dot id so using this i will get the older versions of the object one let's say previously the object one phone number was 3344 and i have updated to 1122 so i have to check whether the older versions of the record and the newer version of the phone number is same or not if it's not same this means actually the object one was updated so let's check it immediately if obj one that is having the newer versions of the record that is 1122 is not equal to <coughs> old object dot phone if they both are not equal to each other this means actually object one was updated now what i'm doing going to do is i'm going to create a map of id <coughs> object one let's name it as map of object one equals to new Let's copy paste this same thing. And what I'm going to do is whatever object one was updated, I'll map, I'll create a map of it. Okay, dot put <coughs> obj1 dot phone, sorry, id comma obj1. So over here, what I'm trying to do is let's understand it with the data. So here inside this map object one, I'm trying to create the map of one, two, three with object one itself. <coughs> So here, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to create a map one to three. That is the ID. That will be the key with the object one itself. That is the whole object one itself. So obj one, which will include the phone number as 
वन वन टू टू so now we have specifically create the map okay for this object one this is the whole object itself with the phone number and the name as well but i'm just highlighting phone number for now now next thing is i have to query object two because you can see the id of the object one is stored within the object two so that's the reason why i'm going to query the object two over here so let's try to query the object two for object two obj2 select id from object two where object one underscore underscore c in map of dot key set <clears throat> so right now what i'm trying to do over here is i'm trying to query the object two because as we have the lookup of object one inside the object two i'm trying to query based on the object one on based on the object one i am trying to query the uh, object two itself so basically object one that is the lookup of uh, object one which will be on object two right now we are trying to ge get all the object two where the object one id is within the map key set and map key set is going to have one two three and here inside the object two lookup also we have one two three basically we'll get this object two this specific record of object two now along with that i have to query object one lookup and object three lookup as well because there will be lookups right is it it's a junction object so it's going to have the lookup of object one and object three as well so i'm going to query the object one underscore underscore c along with that object three underscore underscore c so i've queried both of them from the object to where the map c map key set is this so basically i'll get this particular object which will have one two three as object one and five six seven as object two object three so let's get started now next what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one more map for it <clears throat> let's create map of object 2 let's name it as map of object 2 and yeah that will be the same okay now using the same map what i'm going to do is map of dot put here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a i'm going to create a relation with which object 3 is related to which object 1 okay so that i can easily go and work with object 4 so what i'm trying to do over here is i'm trying to create a relation that which object 3 is related to which object 1 so let's do it so here first the key would be object 3 itself the whole object 3 itself that is nothing but the id okay because the lookup usually has the id so i'm storing the id as the key and for the value what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this particular map the, that i've created at the top i'll do use this dot get object 1 So basically what's going to happen is let's say i'm uh, looping over this this record one to three record only okay so let's say and then what will happen is in this map what we are going to store is we are going to store key as five six seven now okay because we are storing the key as object three over here right and the value as we are getting it from map of object one okay we are passing the key as one two three over here okay where we will be passing the uh, uh, key as one two three inside this map and as soon as we pass one two three we will get this object one as the value so in this case the value of our map would be this so the key over here is the id of the object 3 and the value would be the whole object 1 itself so basically what we have done is we have successfully mapped that object 3 is related which object 3 is related to which object 1 now once all these things are done next and the final part we have to do is we have to query the object 4 so i'm going to go ahead and query the object 4 So over here, if you remember that I already told you that on object four, there's a lookup of object three, right? So what I'm trying to do over here is I'm trying to query the object four who has the value as uh, object three lookup as this, right? Right now, object three key inside the key map, the above map, we have stored the key as five, six, seven. So I'm trying to query the object four, which has the lookup as uh, of uh, object three lookup as the same five, six, seven. So I'll get, basically get this particular object four, which has the lookup as five, six, seven of object three. Now, once that I've got it, I can simply update it now. Let's name it as obj4.phone 
we are going to update the phone number by using the above map so i'll use this above map also along with this i'm going to query the object 3 with id i'm going to query the object 3 as well <coughs> now i'll pass the key of object 3 inside this lookup inside this map sorry and as soon as i pass it automatically i'll get the one second i'll let you know first of all as soon as i pass from this map, map of object 2 as soon as i pass the ob uh, key as object 3 that will be 567 automatically i'm going to get object 1 phone number and the whole object 1 itself right outside this object phone number i just object 1 i just need the phone number out of it so i i'm going to use dot phn so automatically what's going to happen is based on the key set i'll get the whole object one and outside this as i'm using this just using dot phn automatically the object one's phone number will get populated inside the object four phone number now after this you can also create a list and basically you can just create a list i'm let's quickly create a list list of object four obj list equals to new list of object four now once you have done it just take this list and populate the value inside this list dot add obj four now once this is done just go outside this loop and update the object list so using this code this specific code what you can do is based on whenever the object one gets updated automatically object four will get populated with the same phone number so this was all about this today's video if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel